Okay, so we will now save this one as, click File, Save As, and we're going to change that number one to a number two. This time I'm planning on selecting only some of the records, not all of them. So that's why I will going to need help from dynamic select. So I'll insert a line after the first line and I'll copy all the contents of first line onto the second line. Once I do that, back to the first line where you introduce a function dynslt. Now you go to the line after the last line and now you start picking up under the name type s. That now you are picking up a selection criteria on the salary field. Then you go under functions. And I want to select all those salaries which are greater than equals to a certain amount. So I'll say comp for comparing in parentheses GE greater than equal to. And then I'm going to put a value. This value must be driven by the values that you have in your program. So, for example, if you do not have any of the salaries that I'll put out here, nothing will show up in your view. So, it's extremely important that you put a value based on your data set. Okay? Now, you save the changes and compile. Once you're done with compilation, Go to the navigator, refresh, and then view your contents. You should now be able to see the salaries that meet your criteria. For me, out of six, only four people are showing. 